to remember what I wrote and you just laugh We better have a talk Think it might last until it's dark When the candlelights are out I really think it's goodbye in so many ways I stumbled to the door I couldn't take it anymore I took a leap of faith and then I was Hello everybody, welcome, let me, okay, <laughs> I'm paranoid that the readings friends are going to watch me do this, anyways, hi guys, welcome to day two, 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 of Camp Weekend Wayne, very excited, very excited, very excited, so, uh, it's been a little bit of a day, okay, so I'm not updating this until readings since we're starting, which got pushed back to four, so in four minutes we're gonna start, so I have to make this quick. I'll update again uh, after with this, but Ginger had to go to the vet for her upper respiratory thing. It has not gone away, so they put her on new antibiotics, gave her a steroid, and then we're gonna see hopefully like y'all send the vibes please this clears up or we're gonna have to go to a uh, specialist to see if there could be a tumor involved that is causing this issue and i obviously don't want that so i've been freaking out this morning and i mean technically it's good news i guess since they're like you know still wanting to try other things but I'm just a control freak and I have no control over this, so. Hate it, but reading-wise, I finished a book this afternoon. Well, no, this morning. I finished a book. I finished The Patient, and I gotta say, it really freaked me out. I actually started it last night, and I was so freaked out by the time that they got to, like, the childhood flashback things that I had to stop reading it because I was too scared to, like, even look around my room. So, that's good writing. But, uh, just to sum up what this story is about, basically this guy is a psychotherapist. He goes to try to cure this, like, well-known, super lost case in an asylum, and we all know how that goes. Uh, it's kind of like the plot to The Silent Patient, if you've ever read that. Uh, just a different patient. This one is more, like, has been in there since he was six. Gave me very Michael Myers. Uh, and I have to say, like, overall, I did enjoy it. I liked the writing. I liked the suspense. I liked the creepiness of it. But I did not like what the ultimate reveal ended up being. There was a reveal before that. If you've read it, it happens at a house. That's all I'll say. Uh, I I liked that reveal and I was kind of hoping we would go somewhere with that uh, more towards a paranormal thing. Not that this wasn't paranormal, but more of like, you know, the conjuring type of vibe. And it just went to like, I don't know, almost a cheesy kind of thing. And I didn't like it. However, I loved that it felt like I was reading a Reddit post or a Reddit thread being updated by this dude telling us about his experiences. I thought that was a really cool way to tell the story, so I enjoyed that. But overall, this was not my um, favorite that I have ever read, uh, you know, in my life. But I still think it was worth it. I mean, it's free on Kindle Unlimited. It only took me, I think, two hours total to read. It wasn't by any means 
awful. It was very suspenseful. It just wasn't a very good ending for me. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I've read there. Then I also read some of One of Us is Lying. I got to page 97, which is chapter 9 for me. Ooh, I have a minute left. And then I read some of Plain Bad Heroines. And for this one, I just got past the first, like, chapter. So this one I'll be listening to and reading at the same time. This one I'll just be reading by itself. I'm going to switch off between the two uh, during these sprints. But these are going to be very... We're, we're gonna be productive in these sprints. I'm not I'm not talking to nobody. I got no time. So let's go do it. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Okay, so we are in our first sprint, and I am reading One of Us is Lying, and I just finished part one. Um, I'm now on chapter 10. First of all, I like part two. Part two sounds creepy. It's hide and seek. But um, Addie, her little boyfriend, what is his name? Jake? Is his name really Jake? That's unfortunate. I'm going to have to change my kid's name. But I want to fight this kid like the amount of just toxicity and the way he's talking to her like yeah okay listen <laughs> also not defending what she did but like the way that he treated her before he even knew but and then also just the way I don't know I don't know there's a way that he reacted that was just so calculated and so strange like not how you would think someone would react and just the way that he spoke I just I don't like him I don't like him I don't like him and it's got me defending this girl against like one of the tropes that I hate the most of all time ever but not again not defending what she did but I didn't like it I, do, I don't like Jake Jake can joke. Not my Jake. My Jake redeems all Jakes, but this Jake, sir, get it together. Get it together. Anyways, let's get back into it. I'm trying to decide uh, which one to burn. Do I want this one or this one? I think I'm going to do this one and then burn this one because we're actually going to watch this movie tomorrow. We watch it every, every year on Halloween. So I think I'm going to, um, Burn this one. And I'm excited. As always, y'all need to check this company out. Like, this is legitimately my favorite candle place. Ignore the fact that Texas kind of, like, messed this up with the heat. Because they, they normally look much prettier. Like, this is a much more accurate representation of the beauty. Um, me versus everyone else. <laughs> this is me. This is, but I'm excited to burn it. So let's let's actually go clean that up and then let's burn it. How about that?
don't mind me I took the glasses off because I was over it but again another update about this I am shipping two of these characters so much like if this was a show which means that this movie or what show or whatever it is, I'm so watching it. I'm so watching it now because two of these characters, it's like my favorite high school stereotype trope thing is happening. And I'm just like, yes, yes. Uh, so I've, you know, I'm only 120 pages in, but I think that this is, this is going to be the book I stick with for the rest of the sprints because I am just like having a great time. I'm also having a bad time though because I'm looking at all of this like stuff that I want to clean uh, and not let myself relax but I'm like no. This is a good book. We're gonna have a good time so I'm gonna keep reading this. These are, I'm so glad that these are just gonna be like super productive reading sprints so that I can just keep reading because I'm like I'm into it. I'm so into this book. It's It's messy but in a good way, like I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. And the writing style is super easy to read, but it's also, it's more descriptive than I'm used to YA thrillers or contemporaries being. So that's really nice because it gives like a little bit more than they typically do, but not too much to where it's like, okay, uh, what are we even talking about anymore? Uh, so yeah, I'm enjoying the writing style. I'm enjoying the plot. I'm ready to find out everyone's secrets like give them all give them all to me all to me so yeah I'm gonna go back but I just wanted to just wanted to say that because I'm like I'm just I'm in love the freaking tension in this book is everything <laughs> I'm having a great time I'm on page 164 now we're still sprinting I'm loving this I just hope it keeps going this well because, oh my god. And the angst between some of these characters, I'm just like, ugh. And the mystery is so good, y'all. I'm just having a good time. I'm just having a good time. That's it. Okay, hello, hi. Let me mute this. So, I just wanted to come on because I just got my, my TikTok purchase of the week. Um, but it's just this like really cute water bottle. I got it honestly because I have This is my OG emotional support water bottle. It's 32 ounces But I have to keep refilling it at work and I don't I End up not refilling it because I literally I don't even have time to go to the bathroom at work Okay, there's no way I try to refill my water bottle three times like I want to and so this one is allegedly 72 ounces I don't know if that's true oh it's 73 it's 2.2 liters so yeah it's so I guess my goal would be to drink one of these and then when I'm at home one of these because I'm trying to drink 90 to 100 ounces of water a day um but it's, I don't know why, it's hard. But these little, I love these straws. Anyways, I know this has absolutely nothing to do with scary books. Let's, let's talk about the scary books. After I talk about the other thing. <laughs> I have fallen down. Once again, I can't stop falling down. Like I just keep, I get up and I stand and then I stumble again. But uh, I've got these acrylic drawers to organize my purses in my closet. Don't worry, I won't show you. It literally doesn't matter. But I'm excited about them because I love the way that display things like this look. And I've been getting more perfumes and clones for both like my partner and I and I kind of want a way to like actually display them nicely and so if I have leftover because I do think two of my purses are not going to fit on those stands so I may use it to display the perfumes which y'all will see in a video coming up but let's actually talk about the book now so like I squealed um the tension astronomical uh, it's getting to me it is so good in the way that this is and I'm talking about like relationship tension uh family tension the tension of you know 
murder like all of it is done so well and i don't mean to act so surprised but there is like sometimes when books are very popular everywhere like when they get so, i'm like okay how much of this is just like very good marketing and the book is like not this hype worthy and how much of it is like actually like a really good book because and that's not a YA thing. That's not just for YA books. That happens for all kinds of age category books. Uh, but I just am like, wow. I'm sorry for everything I ever said. I'm sorry for every thought I ever had. This book is actually holding it down. It's actually really good. So yeah, I'm just having a good time. I'm on page 176 now. We are on the last sprint. We're going to sprint till 7. Then I'm going to upload all of this, put it on the computer. I might get it all put together on Final Cut Pro. I'm not going to edit it yet. I like to edit daily vlogs all in one go just to have it done. But my goal would be to finish this today. I don't know if that will happen. I am going to take a little break just to have like a brain break because it's getting intense. And I'm going, and I'm now going to read this cute book. So I'm sure that you're going to see a lot of B-roll clips of all the cuteness that is this book because it is freaking adorable. And I, that's just the cover. That's just the cover. Like, the cover is that cute. But, yeah, actually, you know what? I might organize those clips now so that I can relax with this book. So, let's do that. Close your eyes. Get some rest. over now 